to our recap of episode 20 of Big Brother Canada. Oh my god, it's triple eviction night. This is a big deal. It's unprecedented. Three house guests going home in one night. This but is the first. birth of the triple eviction. But first... Kevin didn't use the veto, so Bobby and Brittany are still on the block. It was his plan all along. He wanted to get rid of Bobby and well, call his bluff on Nobody that told Bruno POV. that because Bruno has been campaigning 27-7. Bobby just knows, like, it's over, but Bruno keeps going and going. <sighs> it's really annoying. So... Kevin and Peely are really in their own world. a dead horse, yeah. Kevin and Pilar are on one continuous makeout train. Pretty much. And Kevin drops the freaking L-bomb <gasps> on Peely. What? Like, what? <laughs> no. I like you. I think she wants to say it too, but she feels kind of weird being in the house. Because yeah. you can never really trust someone 100% in the house. All right. Well, Willow wants Bobby to stay. Chop shop forever. So she wants to break up Sarah and Brittany. There's a whole That's true, like, yeah. weird thing going on there. Like... I don't think you really need to worry about Brittany. Sarah's all yours. Don't freak out, Willow. Mm. It's hard to tell where Sarah's true loyalties lie. It's tough. I don't know. I mean, in terms of dating, because, like, it seems like Sarah's, like, dating Willow, kind Sarah of. has, like, a long-time boyfriend. Like, well, ten years or something. I don't know. Like, something crazy like that. Uh, Bobby over here. It's all the part of the talk. show! Bobby overheard the girls talking about the chop shop. They were like just joking around and Bobby was just like, oh my god. You know. They're working together. I'm sure a lot of that was purposefully manufactured on his part too. To Could be, yeah. You know, deflect some of the attention away from him. Well, Bruno's been pushing the whole girls are poison line, so it was right in line with that. The girls are coming after us. We're going to have to resurrect the He-Man Woman Haters Club. Well, you know what's interesting? Then the girls overheard the guys talking by the hot tub, and they heard Zach say, I've got to dig on Ashley. What? No, you don't, Zachary. Yeah, it seems huh. like Ashley's waking up a little bit. Thank God. We'll see. All right, well, they it's showed the jury house. They don't usually do this on the American one until, like, way towards the end. But last week was a big deal. Because it was a big deal. Cindy was joining Jordan in the jury house after betraying him the week before. And at first he didn't want to believe that she was the one who instigated this whole plan to get him out of the house. Well, at first he was all like, oh, hi, how are you? And then he finds out that she was, you know, pushing this plan. And he was just like, don't touch me. I don't know whether he was joking around or whether he's truly hurt. I think he was sort of joking around, but sort of serious, but I could see him getting over it, I think. Quickly. All right, well, it's time for Arissa to check in, because we have got a lot of ground to cover There's tonight. a lot going on. So, it's time for the pleadings. Brittany, what's up? Uh, like, I'm the pawn, so let's get some targets, and I'm the pawn, remember? <laughs> and then Bobby gets up there, and he's like, so blessed. Hey guys, love you! I was waiting for him to go. Hashtag blessed. Love and life. Alright, so, uh... <laughs> Isn't it love and light? Whatever. Okay. Bobby, Bobby's not very good at that. Well, he's not very good at getting votes either, because he was evicted by a vote of 7 to 0. Bye! Bye, Bobby. Alright, well, Arissa talks to Bobby for about a hot five seconds. Same thing she asked Jordan. Why would you volunteer to go up on the block? He wanted to give the illusion that he was comfortable in the house. You never want anyone to think that you're comfortable. That's, yeah, come on, man. <sighs> Moving so, on, we got a lot going on here. Time for the HOH competition, and it's called Talk of the Block. Talk of the Block. It's questions about all of the ceremonies. Power of Veto, the other ones, nominations. Somebody's having a rough time over there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's an A or B competition. Yep, and the most points at the end of the questions wins. So Brittany wins HOE. She got all of them right. Wow. Now get your A's to the living room. All right. It's they time gotta for... They got to keep on a tight schedule because this is not live. It's time for an Arista truth bomb. Hey, guys. It's a triple eviction tonight. What? 
Brittany has to nominate three people right now! That is wild. So she decides to put up Zach, Kevin, and Peely. I thought that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good showing that for her. That was a pretty good showing. Well, she did have a chance to discuss it for about five seconds with Sarah the beforehand. Mm -hmm. Uh, the commercial oh, whatever. is not live. You know what this I mean. is ridiculous. During another commercial break, they picked the POV players. Mm -hmm. And the thing that really pissed me off was that the HOH does not get to participate. Mm. All right. Really? So the three extra players are Bruno, Ashley, and Sarah. Time for that power veto competition. It's called BB Workshop. Solve the gear puzzle and put your gears in the order that the house guests were evicted, and then if it works, you win the POV. Your little light bulb goes on. Oh. So it was pretty close. Yeah. With um, the three guys. Mm -hmm. They were all pretty close, but Bruno ended up winning the POV. And Bruno shocks the F out of everyone by using the POV on Zach. What? <laughs> Man. They had to break out the defibrillator paddles because people were clutching their hearts, falling to the ground, dying. I know. We're gonna, I'm going to talk about this more in the spoilers, so if you want to hear more about this, you should watch that. But we got to keep it moving here. But everybody was shocked slash pissed, and Brittany... She's just like, what do I do? She puts up Willow. <gasps> oh my god, Willow was beside she herself. She was a mess. She was a wreck. It was terrible. All right, so it's time for the pleadings. Peely said, what show is this again? This is the best. Uh, I love you to death. I'm not ready <laughs> to leave camp yet. <laughs> Kevin says, love you guys. Keep me for the penile majority. Okay. Remember, the girls are going after us. And Willow was just like, this is the lowest moment of my life. And I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you to keep me. It was actually really sad it because, was like, she was super pathetic. emotional. Like, I feel bad even joking about it because it seems like it's a whole other level, and it's just like, it's kind of scary. It, I'm incredulous. All right, so vote for who you want to save. You Only don't vote. One. Yeah, you don't vote to evict. You vote to save. Mm -hmm. So Zach and Bruno voted to save Willow. I was a little surprised by this. Yeah, and then Sarah ended up voting for Peely to stay because she was thinking the only way that they could get rid of Kevin would be to vote for Peely because right. she thought the guys were going to try to keep Kevin. Right. All right, so Peely is saved, and Kevin and Willow are off to the jury house. Whoa. So Willow totally ran out. Yeah, everyone's just like, Willow, wait! And she was I, like... I think she did hug Sarah. No, then... Sarah went to hug her, and she freaking, like, pushed her oh, away. Oh, okay. But Kevin was just like, yeah, what's up? You know what? I have a lot of respect for that. He handled it like a champ. He did. He worked the crowd. He was like, yeah, sorry I'm, you know, keeping the show from progressing, but I've got to, you know, work my fans here. I think I like him more outside of the show. Me too. I heard he was very good in his house guest hangout earlier today, too, so good for you, Kevin. I feel really bad for Willow, though. I mean, she, she was seemed just really wreck, upset. She couldn't wreck. even speak during the interview with Arissa. <sighs> Poor Willow. All her dreams are dead now. All right. Well, there's a big twist this week. It's finally the week of the secret power of veto. I was wondering when they were going to pull that one out. I thought they forgot about it for crying out loud. Well, it's Canada's job to vote for two have-nots this week. Choose which wisely. Which sounds sad, but... The two have-nots are going to battle it out for the, super, the secret power, super secret power. This is really a super secret, super duper power. It's kind of like a coup d'etat from that one season. Even better. You can change the nomination or nomination. No, you have to change one. Oh, okay. But you can change both. Right. Now, we don't know yet if the HOH renames the nominations mm -hmm. or the person who holds the veto renames it them. It almost sounds like the person who holds the power does. That's crazy. That is crazy. And the best part is it happens right before the live eviction. Oh so my nobody gosh! has a chance to fart. <laughs> okay. So let us know what you guys think of all this. I know it's a lot to take in, but we want to hear what you have to say. So leave it in the comments. It's going to be crazy! And make sure you check out her spoiler to find out who won the HOH. Yeah. Because it already happened. And until next time, much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.